Working with video in Adobe Animate can be frustrating and complicated, but in this video, I'll try to simplify the process by explaining each step and showing you how I normally do it. There'll be timestamps in the description as always, but I do recommend watching this video all the way through because there are many small details at each step that can be frustrating to deal with if you don't know what you're looking for. With that said, let's go into Adobe Animate. Selecting an empty layer, go up to the menu bar and select File, Import, Import Video. The pop-up window that appears can be pretty intimidating with all of these different import options, but let's just take it slow and look at each one. The default option, Load External Video with Playback Component, puts the video inside a player with controls like a play or pause button and volume settings. Jumping down to the bottom, this web server option is very similar, except instead of using a video that's on your computer, it uses a video that's been uploaded to a special server somewhere on the internet. Both of these options are very useful for interactive projects like apps or websites, but because the video is loaded in a separate player, it doesn't sync with the timeline meaning they're not suitable for animation-specific projects. The two remaining options let you embed the video in the timeline, and this works well for animation because each frame of the video is put on a frame on the timeline, which means you can scrub the timeline and look at each frame individually. FLV and H.264 are video codecs, and I recommend sticking with H.264 because the FLV file format is really old, and even Adobe themselves have stopped supporting it. Luckily, H.264 is really common. If your video file ends with .mov or .mp4, there's a high chance that it's already using the H.264 codec. So with On Your Computer and Embed H.264 selected, I'll click Browse, select my video file. This one's a .mov, and I know that it's a H.264 encoded .mov. Then click Open, and the location of your video file will appear underneath the Browse button. If you try to select a video that's not H.264, an error message will pop up. In that case, you need to convert it before moving on. You can do that with Adobe Media Encoder, which opens when you click Convert Video, or Handbrake, which is free and available on both Mac and Windows. I'll leave a link in the description. At this stage, you might encounter one of these problems. First, your video might be too long. Adobe's website states that the maximum length of an embedded video is 16,000 frames, which roughly translates to 11 minutes for a 24 frames per second video. But sometimes I have trouble importing shorter videos too, so to get around this, you can cut your video up and then import each clip separately. Next, timing and sync issues. It's a good idea to match the frame rate of your video with your project's frame rate, which you can see here in the properties panel. If your video has an audio track, you might want to import your audio separately because Adobe Animate doesn't always do a good job syncing up the audio and video. I've done a separate tutorial on importing audio, so if you need help with that, I'll leave a link up top and in the description. And lastly, videos that you import using this method cannot be exported, so it's only meant to be used as a guide or reference while you're animating. While that may sound like a big deal, I find that Adobe Animate lags when I import high quality videos, and I mean 1080p, not even 4K videos. So I usually have to import a lower quality version anyway and do my animation on top of that. If I plan on combining the video and animation later, I can do it properly in a video editing software like Adobe After Effects or Final Cut Pro. With that out of the way, let's click Next. And here we have some options on how you would like to embed the video. Movie clips let you write a bit of code or add interactive elements, and graphic symbols give you more control over the playback of the video, letting you do things like pick the starting point of the video or cut the video up. For the purpose of this tutorial, I'm going to stick with the basic embedded video, and this will work fine in most cases. The next four options are pretty self-explanatory. If place instance on stage is tick, the video will be placed on the currently selected layer on the timeline. Expand timeline will automatically add frames to the timeline to fit the entire length of your video, which is pretty convenient. The video I'm trying to import doesn't have audio, so I'm going to untick include audio. If the frame rate of your video and your project are not the same, 
Taking match document FPS will tell Adobe Animate to try and maintain the timing of your video by adding or removing frames. My video and project are both 24 frames per second, so I'll leave that unticked and click Next, which brings up a confirmation screen. If you tick this checkbox, Adobe Animate's support website will open after importing the video, so I'll leave that unticked and click Finish. After all that, you finally imported a video. It's a little massive, but if I zoom out a bit, you can see the whole thing. Like any other object, you can reposition, resize, or duplicate your video. If I press play, you can see that the video is playing. And as we discussed earlier, you can see each frame of the video individually, which is super helpful if you just want to do a drawing like on this specific frame. You can find all of your imported videos in the library panel. This is the one that we just imported, Minibox, and here's another video that I imported before I started recording. To swap between videos that you have in the library, select the video that's on the stage, go up to the properties panel, and then click on this swap icon, and just choose a different video. The only other option is Healthy Box, so let's go with that. And you can see that it swaps the video out but maintains the changes like the position and the size of the video. If you make changes to the original video file outside of Adobe Animate and you want to update the video in your project, you have to do that manually by going to the library, right clicking on the video file, selecting properties, selecting update, and then clicking OK. And that's it. I know this wasn't a particularly exciting video, but importing video, working a video, one of those things that you just need to know if you're working with Adobe Animate. Thank you as always for watching and goodbye.